Hey guys, it's Monday morning. I just came back from running. Time for bed shower and awesome week. This is Free Code Cam project. Uh, it's called Sign On Game. Uh, so it's like the traditional sign on game where you, where you get the pattern of the sounds and you have to repeat them after 20 sounds you uh, introduced correctly of course you win going for a meeting with friends Simon game since the beginning of this week. This week I did two comments and I started this project at the, at the end of the last week, introducing the basic UI. The, by the basic UI, I mean it's responsive right now, however, it needs much, much more work to be ready to go. So far, I've implemented the, the user stories. Let me show you that. I'm presented with random uh, series of button presses. This is the random series, random array. Each time I hit restart, there is a new random series. Each time it starts from step one. And if I uh, press the button correctly, I uh, have one new sound added to repeat from this array. This will continue until 20 steps and after the 20th step uh, the game is over and the user won. So the first user story is implemented. The next one is each time I input a series um, of button presses correctly I see the same series of button presses with the, an additional step. This is also implemented. I hear a sound that corresponds to each button uh, whenever I hit it or the computer hit, hits. Okay. So this user story is also implemented. The, the sounds are heard. If I press the wrong button, I'm notified I have done so and the series of patterns is uh, repeated. Let me make a mistake. So it's four for one one. So I will do two two uh, one one. So here there was oops. Listen again, and the pattern is repeated. So the user story is implemented. I can see how many steps are in the current series of button presses. It's exactly here at the top right now. If I want to restart, I can hit a button to do so, and the game will re return to a single step. Yep, it works. I can play in strict mode where, where if I make a mistake, so then it will be restarted. So let me play in strict mode. So I have to press 4 because it was first step without any mistake. 4, 2. 
4 to 4 and let's make a mistake so 4 to 1 and as you see it's notification uh, that I made a mistake but I come back uh, directly to the first step and I have to start the game uh, from the top and the last uh, user story I can win the game by getting a series of 20 steps correct I'm notified of my victory then th then the game starts over Three, one, one, four, and the last sound. Be careful. Look here what will happen. So I'm notified, and the game starts over from the first step. So it's implemented. To sum up, all of the user stories are implemented. Um, there's the basic UI, which is also uh, responsive. However, it doesn't look well yet. for the signing game, I'm going to listen to it right now. I deployed the project to the server, time for biking. Design skills. It's time for reading. I've just answered uh, Code Newbies questions on Twitter this week. Uh, if you are learning to code and haven't heard about them, uh, it's really great community, so uh, you should check them out. Okay, so it works fine, but definitely there is a problem sometimes with the sound, so I will have to polish it a bit. Works fine, again, problem with the sound and overlapping. Internet Explorer. Who works? It's Thursday evening and I've been fighting with mobile and sounds and uh, animations on mobile for the whole evening. That's it for today. That's it. And I will come back to it tomorrow. Maybe I will find a solution. Mobile animations, mobile sounds. I hate you. It's a Friday morning, and this is my app after the whole week. So, so the app uh, is working right now, so you can play it. It's fully responsive. The problem that I have right now is um, looking for some solution for audio because uh, it's not working properly on mobile devices. Uh, this is the problem that game developers also have, as I've noticed, so uh, it may be tough, but keep your fingers crossed. I hope I'll find some solution and uh, solve this problem. I finally did it.
The audio source has changed dynamically as a result I can play it on mobile devices which is great um, because I don't need each time the audio to be triggered by a user because it's still one and the same audio. That's it, the week is over, I introduced uh, all of the user stories from Simon Game, I tested it uh, and uh, improved its UX and it's live right now. The main problem was HTML5 uh, audio on mobile browsers. The plans for the next week? I'm going to revise all of my previous projects from FreeCodeCam, redesign some of them, especially portfolio, get to 500 points on brownies uh, in FreeCodeCam community, and uh, play my first front-end certificate. It's the end of the first week of vlogging, it was really fun and motivating, so uh, I will continue doing it, it's really great, so uh, keep on hacking, see you next week.